Hey guys, it's Evil Anarchy. Today I've got a short little video for you. I'm here in Las Vegas. I'm out here for Licensing Expo, so be sure to check out that video. But I'm here for the One Piece Cafe, which is uh, right there. I just got out. Um, I got here early. I got here at like 11... 15, 11, 20, I don't know. They, they, they open at 11. So I got here, there was maybe like 20 people in front of me. There's not many seats inside, so it's uh, get here early. And uh, I just got out and there's like a huge line outside the door, which is crazy. Um, yeah, so make sure you get here early because it's the only way you're gonna get a seat here. There's a few standing seats, but they really give you like bags to go and they really emphasize to go, <laughs> which I think is fine. The, the the food looks like it would hold well in like, store, like they, everything comes in a container, but it was pretty good. And we're going to go on inside right now and check it out. So most of the time I spent inside the One Piece Cafe was spent inside of the line. The line is pretty long. But luckily they have all these wanted posters on the wall here, which makes for a great little photo op opportunity. Had to get the selfie in. As you get closer to the front though, you're able to see the menu. Make sure you look up the menu beforehand because some days they're not serving actual food. I ended up getting the Dragon Fruit Strawberry Punch Drink, very good, and the Gum Gum Devil Fruit Moose Bomb. This is all the food. These are not very high quality images of what I could find online. But uh, yeah, I'm sure there's other Instagram videos you can look up of people eating the food, and I'll show you what I got in this video as well. But before you get to actually ordering the food, you go past the little merch booth section, and they've got a lot of merch here. A lot more merch than food. In fact, I'm kind of shocked by how much merch they're actually selling here. Here are the two main things, the gum gum double fruit and the chomper hat cake, I think it is. It had a cool Sanji plush as well. They also had a bunch of other desserts, which are a little bit cheaper. The main two desserts, I feel, are a little overpriced. They were $25 each, and then the other ones were like $15. And I think it's because they're really capitalizing <laughs> on the popularity of those two. So after you order, you're kind of in this little waiting area, waiting for your food. They've got all these cutouts here, which are just kind of up against the wall, or on the wall, I should say. Cool for a photo op opportunity. Love it. Wish they were not straight up on the wall so you could like get some depth to them but whatever it's fine it's still a cool little spot to take some photos i ended up getting a seat you're not going to be as lucky as me i'm going to tell you right now a family left as soon as i finished ordering this is what i ended up getting i got the gum gum mousse cake bomb thing and then this drink i really really love this drink it was really hot out vegas is so hot as someone who's from LA, I'm used to the heat, but Las Vegas is like dry heat and it's very strong wind and it just was, it knocked the like the life out of me. But this dessert comes in a nice little box. They all come in little boxes, which is super convenient for transport. I highly recommend you just get these and go because you don't want to be sitting around here trying to wait for a seat. It's not worth it in my opinion. There's so many kids here and it's kind of loud and it's just kind of messy. Uh, I mean, they have staff that are trying to clean up, but like, it's so hard when there's just, you know, as soon as someone leaves, you're like, I gotta rush to get a seat. And it's, it just makes it so hard. I tried biting the fruit, but uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, it was like hard, like very hard. And they give you a plastic spoon to break it with. And it's just like, this is not, <laughs> it did not go well. I thought my spoon was gonna break. The inside is just like a, a fruit cake. So fruit and some cake and cream. I also ended up getting this chomper pin, which is super cute. They had a bunch of other pins. I decided to go with the chomper one. I really wanted to get the chomper cake, but it was just like, it's just like cotton candy inside of his little head, which is fun, but I don't want to pay $25 for a little ball of cotton candy. Both of those desserts were $25, by the way. It's crazy. A little overpriced in my opinion. Most of the things at this cafe were pretty expensive. And the line when I left was out the door, maybe three times as long as when I arrived. But that's it for today's video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.